Here we have a 99 uh, Ford F450 with the V10, 6.8. This one came in and blew a spark plug out. So here's the ignition plug. I actually don't have a spark plug, but it blew the plug out. So we're gonna go ahead and install a time cert. The first step you wanna do, I have a camera, this right here. I stick this down the, uh, the cylinder. Let me see if I can get you guys a good shot. So what I do is I make sure that the piston is, is down as far as possible. And I want to make sure that the valves are closed. And I'll show you that right now. You can kind of see on there. So let me, you can see, see the piston pretty much all, all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the angle camera side view. And then you can see both the valves right there. It's kind of hard to see. So they're both flat, flush and closed. So I got the green light to go ahead and start cutting it. So. What are we using this time for kit? This thing we've had for, I don't know how long. I don't know how many of these I've done, but this kit looks amazing. We're going to start out. I'll start out with this, so I'm going to put some grease in here. Try to keep most of the metal out of the engine. What's crazy, this customer didn't even come in for this. He, uh, he pulled in, went to start it, and it, the spark plug blew out. But he's a very good customer, so we're gonna knock it out for him right now. So we got the first bit in there. I Me, mean, I don't have, I need to grab an extension. Here's the 5 eighths. We're just gonna start cutting it so it goes smooth. We're cutting a chamfer in the head for the uh, insert to fit into. Once you start spinning fast, that should be it. I hate that. This tool's so worn out. Grab a thin needle. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So we're gonna take my needle nose, we're just gonna pull this out. You see all the metal on the end of it, so you know it's cut. Now we're going to start with the second bit. We're just going to dig the hole out. So here's the second bit. Now I'm going to pack this with grease as well. I want to try to keep as much metal out of the engine as possible. You don't want it in there. But I blow it out. I don't, I don't let it stay in there. There's only so much you can do, so we're gonna go ahead and run this one down there now. Same thing. I like to pull it out and check on it. It's got metal on there. We're gonna clean that metal off. First couple times you do one of these, you're a little scared because it's like that's a lot of metal to take out of the cylinder head. But that's great.
Now I get a little ball back from it. I just want to check and make sure everything still looks okay. There's a lot of metal in there. Got some on the blend. Yeah, it's still cutting the head, see? You see all the metal in the engine? And this only has two two valves, so we just gotta make sure. I just wanna double check. I'm very weird about that. It looks fine, so we're good to go. I'm just being paranoid. There's one time I did hit a valve, and uh, luckily it didn't cause any damage. I caught it, but still something you don't wanna do. Again, pack the flutes with it. We'll go ahead and run that down there again. Like I said, the valves are closed and the piston is down, so we're not going to hit nothing. Just got to cut through that cylinder head. There we go. Oh. Tap it out. The bit on the, on the thing is worn out. That holds the tap in. I have to. And you can tell when it hits the bottom because there's metal right there, so we know it ran through the whole path. So, we're going to put that one away. Next, we're going to run the, uh, the actual cap pack, not a cutter. It shouldn't, that's not a cap, it's a cutter. Let's get the tap ready. Right. What you got? Almost done. Where's your shit box? Which one? The van? shit box. Wait, how many shit boxes do you have? <laughs> the van's at home. I don't drive it anymore. You got home? <laughs> you said, oh, at home? Yeah, I just leave it at home now. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's just it's a pain in the butt to drive. I bought that car, so I like driving that car now instead. Too much money. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. I paid twenty four thousand dollars for it. Wow. How much they are? It's thirty thousand miles on it. It's like brand new. What is it? A Passat? No, nah, it's a Golf Sport wagon. I'm not familiar. Oh, so that's a fast one, right? No, it's not. It has a diesel in it. So it gets fifty. It has a diesel? Yeah. So you guys might want to watch out. It's gonna be messy. It's gonna be in here. Oh, you saved him though. <laughs> not even right in your face. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of, I'm waiting right now. Yeah. I've found this house that I love, but I'm like, too much money. I, I just right now with everything. The best thing to do right now is save it. Sell, yeah. save it. Like if you wanted to move your house, sell it. Yeah. And then just rent for a year. I know. That's a, I look at renting. Renting is even with our mortgage. My mortgage. Oh, you're going to get rent for a year. Yes, you will. Yeah. But like, for example, my house is worth 700 IO3. Yeah. If I sold it, rent it for a year, I could buy it back for free. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Watch out, I'm gonna start it up. It's gonna blow everywhere. Trying to get all the metal out of the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna put the put the nice insert in. This gets metal everywhere. Really? It's a messy, messy. At least it's on the front. It makes it easier. In the back. I, I'm just amazed by the timing. That's what is odd. <laughs> One more crank and it's done, you know? Yeah, we gotta check the other ones though. So. Still got your truck though, right? You can sell that. Yeah, I have to do that. I kind of, I wanted to get another, a new one, newer one, but 
It's too much money. So expensive. Yeah, I'd rather just keep my old truck. Now I'm buying a truck. Oh, this is not worth it. No, not right now. Probably. So the shop is on KTPI. That's oh, where I right hear. Yeah, only KTPI. So there's a sweat. Yeah, they're probably expensive though. KTPI? Yeah, we that Big D and Bubba. They're they're like world oh. known. You know? Really? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, they go to like they go to. Country cup. Like everyone knows, them. like Tim McGraw knows who Big D and Bubba is. Wow, huh? I never even knew that. They're, they're, they're a big deal. Well, if you have them say something, if you have Big D and Bubba say something for you, then yeah. Because that's what I ask. Because they, uh, what's that one shop? Uh, Wayne and Dave. Yeah. They used to say, oh, take it to Wayne and Dave. That's a Big D and Bubba stand on the radio. And I, I asked our guy, and I'm like, hey, how much do they pay? They're like, a lot of money for them to say that. Yeah. I'm like, screw that. Yeah, they're, they're known. Well, we don't, we don't have them say that. We don't, we don't have that. Great great, 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 so. Yeah, and we used to, it was, used to be a lot cheaper, but now since everything's on up, you know, it's, it's gotten a little bit more expensive. But it's, I don't think it's that much money. But, you know. Um, well, yeah, we'll see. We got, we got one job so far for sure, but just name recognition. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys have a good name. I always see you guys on post. People always say, oh, I need a, um, you know, tree person. Yeah, chat chipper, chat chipper, chat chipper. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna make sure, you know, and on their automotive, I don't put us on automotive because you get a lot of those people that are like, you know, oh, uh, you know, that's too expensive, or you know, you know. I, I, I tell people personally on shop, but I don't do online because the same thing though. Yeah. I can try to be promoting your business, and then you have 20 people on there yeah. talking shit, it's like the exact opposite. Yeah, and that's what it is. You get a lot of people that are just cheap, you know, and they don't, they think they know, and then they don't. And, it just causes a lot of headaches. So I don't really, I try not to recommend anybody online. I just kind of see, but you guys are, you know, out of that post, I think eight people recommended you out of 10. Yeah, so no, we get that a lot. Facebook's our good, our good spot. That's cool. I just saw that. Who can? Oh, yeah. The customer, customer made that for us. See how nice it looks? So once I get the plug and flow started, Okay, now we're gonna put the spark plug in and the ignition coil and get this thing done. So there's the spark plug. Use my ratchet to tighten it. Oh, that's so nice. The brand new ignition coil. Let's put the little eight in. Yeah. Just turn to start up, uh, shift the gears, and just let it run. That. Plug that in, let's plug the ignition coil. It's going to fire it up. 